Christine Bertram and I'm coming to you live from the hive on a Friday. It's about 1230 and I thought now is the best time to show you guys some swap cards. I had promised last night that I would go live at some point today and I realized I better do this now because my gals are going to start rolling in around six o'clock to set up for the retreat and my afternoon It'll get away from me. <laughs> it always does. So I am so excited, you guys. I don't know if you caught, but there were a lot of things that have been on back order with Stampin' Up! for a while. And some of those things are like the Sunshine and Rainbow or Rainbows of Happiness bundle, the Tulips bundle with the windmill. Um, that one is back in stock now. You guys, New Horizons is back as well. Um, the Iridescent Rhinestones, the Pebbles. Hi, Lizzie. Um, there's just a whole bunch, and this is just in the U.S. market, because I see Lizzie, you're in the U.K., <laughs> so hi, Linda Hall. So this is in the inventory that is housed in the United States. Hi, Joanna. Hi, Sandy Zidun. Hi, France. Hi, Shirley Inglis. Hi, Jean Maxwell. So. If you have been waiting for something to come back into stock and you're in the US, <laughs> hi Patsy Roberts, um, now is the time to go check and see if it's something you've been waiting for because I know um, Elaine Rebeck has been watching and she's like, as soon as you see that windmill tulip, the tulip one come back, let me know. So I got her order. We got the New Horizons ordered for somebody. Artfully Layered, you guys, is another one. Hi Kathy from Central Illinois. First time watching me. Wow, we're not even doing a class today. We're just going over swap cards and past prize winners. <laughs> Woo, hi, Betty Pyle. Hi, Carissa Alberts, probably on your lunch hour. Hi, Kathy King. Hi, Susan Pacheco. I have a package going in the mail for you today. Woohoo! So you guys, lots of stuff must have just got off of the, sp the slow boat. <laughs> and uh, we got some inventory back in on some great products. So lots of bundles, lots of dyes and some embellishments. So excited. Hi, Sandy Wicklander, Sherry Martin, hello. I was starting to get worried because the pebbles, so Carissa had two packages of pebbles, I had four, which made for six. And um, that New Horizons class, everybody gets a strip and there's 10 per package, so that was enough for 60. But you guys um, amazed me because when I mentioned I only had a few uh, sets left for that class, you guys all signed up for it. Hi, Ann Adams and Cindy Runtree and Kay Weir. And um, all of a sudden I'm like, shoot, I need more pebbles. And the pebbles are back in stock, yay! So I don't need to go beg, borrow, and steal from everybody. <laughs> Hi, Susan Reed. Um, so, um, yeah, so pebbles, I'm so excited. And that means that, you guys, I had thought that I knew how many I needed. Um, yeah, go check, Amy. <laughs> Don't be mad at me, anybody, if there's things in there that are there now that you need to get and purchase. Just know that if you do purchase a minimum of $45 from me using my current host code that's found on my website, um, you could earn free class. So, yay. Hi, Doris Monson. Uh, so, so going back to the, the New Horizons class, you guys, uh, I had in, in my head kind of guesstimated how many I needed, and that was 64. And after the, the live that I did last week, I had a lot more people sign up. And so I'm planning to make at least 12 more. And that leaves me with more spots. And I haven't made those 12, so I could even make 16 at this point. Hey, if I'm going to make 12, I can make 16. Hi, Penny Powell from Florida, um, sunny Florida. And so if anybody was thinking they missed out on signing up for New Horizons, you guys, the bundle is back in stock. And my promotion for this month with my sweet class is New Horizons, where if you purchase the bundle from me using my current host code and tell me it is specifically for that class, you get the free gift from me, which is a half a pack of the designer series paper. Um, so it kind of like is all working out. Yay, good deal. Um, hi, Sue Somerville. Uh, so yeah, if anybody is needing to get on this, the class list for New Horizons, it's not too late. Just let me know now because I just need to know if I need to make 12 more or 16 more or maybe even 20 for all that matter. You guys, you're blowing my mind with all the numbers of card kits I'm making. And um, I just need to make sure I have enough pebbles for everybody. <laughs> That's what I have to make sure of. So, um, yeah. Um, Paper Pumpkin, you guys, it's so awesome they got that in because the New Horizons uh, coordinates with it. So that's super cool. You had to sign up by last night. 
I do have about four sets or kits that I got extra in case anybody reaches out to me and says, I wish I got another one or if they missed out. So good there as well. Um, so what are we going to do today? Today is not a class. <laughs> um, Susan Pacheco, yes, you signed up for New Horizons. You already paid for it. That was the whole fiasco with the PayPal with the fee being charged. And um, you sent me the extra dollar fifty, and nine fifty cents was taken out. PayPal friends and family is the way to go. PayPal goods and service, you guys, they take out so much money for the fee. On a dollar fifty, I got ninety seven cents, and so they took out fifty three cents for the fee on a dollar fifty. That is a third, you guys. So, yeah. That's why I give you guys the option of using friends and family so you save the fee. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm asking you for that extra money. <laughs> Hi, Becky. Um, so, Susan, yes. And that's what's going in the mail for you today is Fun Folds and New Horizons. Yay. Um, Sue Somerville, I don't think you are. Um, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you'd think I remember things, but Sue, I don't think you are signed up. Sue, you're signed up for the monthly class. Um, I'm pretty sure, oh gosh, like, oh yeah, Sue, you're signed up for the monthly class, but I don't think, Sue, you're signed up for, just send me a note, you guys. Um, Sue, I just made the slips. I don't think, Sue, you're signed up for New Horizons. So if you're not sure you want to be, yes, yeah, Sue, send me a text message. Help me remember. I'm not going to do it right now, but if you, hi, Kathy Jackson from Iola. Sue, if you could just send me a little text message, I'll make sure to get you signed up. So, and Jean Maxwell, can you show the New Horizons cards? Yes, I can. I wondered if you guys were going to ask that. <laughs> so, give me one moment in time. They are actually um, all, I have my set over there. So, you guys, I'm going to put you on standby and have you look at this beautiful card that reminds me of Hawaii. How about that? Hi, Mary Ellen. Hi, Rose. So, one second. Okay, so I have the four cards, you guys. And some of you know this and some of you don't know this. Hi, Holly. Thank you for sending the text, Sue. I appreciate it. Some of you know this and some of you don't know this, but Tyler is my boyfriend and he has been involved in my stamping business career for as long as I can remember. Hi, Tara Stay. Hi, Donna. Hi, Barb Johnson. And <laughs> he is like the, um, a little grading fairy, I guess you could say. He'll come around and he will put gold stars, copper leaves, acorns, silver bottle caps, um, green Hawaii leaves, and he will put them on his favorite cards in the entire hive here in the room. And so Chris and I made these cards together for New, New Horizons and got them up on the board and he graded them. And so he had a message for everybody when I talk about these cards is that we got three grades, three stars. Um, three of the cards got good grades. In his eyes, good grades is just that he really likes it. Tyler loves nature, outdoor things like hiking, camping, kayaking, canoeing, all of the above. He could get lost in the wilderness and never come back and he would be okay with that. And so these cards were right up his alley. So he said, that everybody should really consider taking this class because it is one of his all-time favorite classes. <laughs> so I'm going to flip the camera down. Thank you, Jean Maxwell, for asking me to do this because I contemplate showing the cards or not. But you guys, I'd rather have you sign up now early so I can estimate how many more sets of cards I should make <laughs> versus it being at the last minute and having to say no. But here we go, guys. So um, all, and think about this, um, you, so, oh, do I have the set? handy. So New Horizons, you really don't specifically even need the stamp set for it. Um, the sentiments all came from this. The birds came from it. Um, but all the die cutting, you guys, will always be done for you um, unless it's a specific stamp that needs to get stamped and then die cut. But like your grass here and the little lake thing and the fence will be all die cut. Your sand hills will be die cut, your dunes. Um, you'll need to stamp a sentiment and potentially some birds. This piece back here is made with blending brushes and inks. So this is not a stamp back here, but you do get a white piece of paper. I care in what sign. And when you open it up, 
Um, there's a strip of the designer paper along the side here and some more bird stamped. So this is one of the cards that got a gold star from Tyler. Um, so this was another card that got a star from him. And so this whole background piece, you guys, is not stamping. It's that designer series paper. So you will need a sentiment for this one. Um, it's hard to notice this, but on the back of the fence here and on the back of this label, there's some lines and that is like a texture stamp that comes in the new horizons set let me grab it really quick so if you get the stamp set there's this this stamp right here which provides texture that's what got stamped on the back of this label and then the fence and then this is where the words all come from and the birds come from Hi, Randy Schultz. So if you don't have this stamp set and you don't want to get it, you will still be good. Hi, Donna Hill. You would still be very um, great at getting these cards to look exactly like these. <clears throat> this one also, um, this background is the designer paper and a sentiment. And that's it, you guys. Um, the background here is embossed with the bark embossing folder and the sun um, will get punched for you in this one too. The moon will be punched um, and that will already be die cut for you. So I, I did that for everybody's already that I made. So that one got a nice little star from Tyler as well. And also included in it was a strip, a hi Mitzi, a strip of designer paper that goes along the bottom. So, and then this is the last one. And you guys, um, uh, so yeah, the Mitzi, this bundle is so, the, the paper is so fun. So, your mountain will already be die cut. Your sun will be die cut. So this is where I was talking about the pebbles, you guys. These three cards have three pebbles each. So everybody gets a strip of the pebbles, three for each card. And then this last card <coughs> has the champagne rhinestones. And luckily those are out of stock, but I had three packs of them um, so that I had plenty for the class. So, and then a little chevron ribbon. So this is the class that I keep talking about with the New Horizons, and you'll get a little strip of designer paper to put on your inside here. Um, so, oh man, I saw it. Grumpy face. Who gave me grumpy face? <laughs> we talked, you guys. So somebody gave Kelly a grumpy face while she was doing the paper pumpkin kit on, it must've been February 28th. And she was like, oh man, why did I get a grumpy face? And I said, you know what? Somebody accidentally did that because, <laughs> and my story was, I, I fall asleep looking at my phone, watching videos at night, <laughs> sometimes too, right? And I like, I'm laying there with my phone up and I fell asleep with the phone in my hand watching some demonstrator's video. And as I was catching the phone and trying for it not to hit my face, I hit the grumpy face and I'm like, oh shoot, she's going to think I'm not happy about something. And it's like, you, once you hit the grumpy face, you can't do anything to take it away. <laughs> so I just told Kelly it was an accident. And so every time I see grumpy faces, I'm like, they didn't mean to do that. They're not mad at me. <laughs> so, all right, Patsy Roberts, um, did you sign up? I don't. Yes, you did. You're number 35. I saw your name right away on the sheet. Sue Somerville, I did not see your sheet. So Patsy, you're signed up. <clears throat> Patsy, you haven't paid for it yet though. So you have a little list of things I think you need to pay for. Um, so that's New Horizons, you guys. Um, <clears throat> it's good. Uh, this class is live via Facebook on March 24th. So you guys, it's, it's like two weeks away. But at this point, I have 72 people signed up, I think. So it's just, it's crazy. Um, and I'm willing to make more kits and have more people sign up. I just need to um, know that you want to take the class. So, all right. So what do we have for you today? We have swap cards. So I host a customer swap group. That's the Cards by Christine customer swap group if you're looking for it on Facebook. And usually between 8 and 16 people sign up to swap. It's a month-to-month -month swap. So if you want to do it one month, you can. And if you don't have time, you don't have to. You just have to make sure you sign up by the last day of the month. And then you make that many cards. Um, you betcha, Jean. I just saw your message come through. Um, <clears throat> you just have to make that many cards. So... I got the frog going on. So these cards were the ones that came in for February. And they're when you look at them, it's not a Stampin' Up! only swap. Uh, there's certain rules, requirements. It's a more flexible, open uh, swap uh, because my customers don't always have just Stampin' Up! products. So <clears throat> the one requirement, there's two main requirements. One is that you use a current Stampin' Up! stamp on the card somewhere. 
And the other is that you use something else Stampin' Up! related. It could be a bling or ribbon or cardstock. And then basically after that, you guys, it's no holds barred. It's like whatever you want to use. And so what happens is I don't generally participate in this swap because I don't, I can't promote the cards in my business. And so being host, I get a set of cards, but that set of cards actually gets donated. And we're getting to the point where the group, hi Cheryl, we need to get to um, donating them because we've gotten boxes of them. So for a year now, we've been um, collecting these cards every month. We get 10 or 12 cards. And then we figure out, do we want to take them to the American Legion? Do we want to take them to the senior center? Do we want to take them to um, a nursing home or somewhere? So <clears throat> we're getting to that point where we got to donate them because I need more room for the ones that are coming in. So, so I like to share those cards, but I preface that, that I don't always know what product is used on these cards, but I can guess if um, sometimes people do use all Stampin' Up! and sometimes they don't. So and with the donation, um, it always comes in an envelope, a white envelope, so that it's ready to go to get donated. Whereas when you swap with the rest of the people in the group, you put them in a clear envelope. So, all right, so I'm going to flip down. And then after that, you guys, I think I've made a decision that I'm going to do a last call for some, some prizes, some cards and prizes that I have been collecting um, over the last year. <clears throat> I keep track on a spreadsheet of everybody who wins anything. And so I went through that spreadsheet and there are 658 things that have been given away as prizes. And if I don't get somebody's address, I don't know where to send the prize or the card to. And so I collect these and the pile fell over the other day. And so that means to me, it's time. Hi, Laura Sullivan. It's time. And so <clears throat> your name might be in here and I'm more than happy to send your card to you, but I'm doing a last call. And if I don't get an address for the person's name within a week, I'm going to find different things to use with these beautiful prizes and cards. <laughs> so, so that's what we're going to do after we go through the swaps. Okay, you guys. So I know some of you may have um, had your name in here and I didn't know who you were and now I know who you are. So I'll be curious. I haven't looked at these names in a long time. So we're going to do one last call. Not for alcohol, but for cards. <laughs> so, all right, let's flip down, you guys. These are the swap cards. <clears throat> Thanks for sharing, Sandy. I appreciate it. All right, so these are a surprise to me. I don't even know what they look like either, but we will see. So this is Diane Rangi <clears throat> from Juneau, Wisconsin. Hi, Cheryl Thomas. And so it is all very, very cool. So sending a card instead of a text. I definitely know, you guys, that comes from flowing flowing flowers. <laughs> we just did that class um, last month. And so this is some of that shimmer um, ribbon from the snowflake set from last year. This designer series paper was celebration paper from last year. So very cool. In a world where you can be anything, thank you for being kind. I love it. Diane, very beautiful card. So I'm pretty sure, so we do themes every month too. And sometimes we'll throw in like techniques or fun folds. And I think this one might be a fun fold. Um, so we'll see some different fun folds here. Collecting sweet thoughts of you. So this was Catching Butterflies, which was current last month, along with the rainbow paper. And this is Kathy Wilsnack. And you guys, it's like one of these easel cards too. So it's super cool because um, it, uh, she, oh, she attached it. Oh, she took the, okay. So this is, I like this concept. This might be a cool fun fold. So it doesn't really go flat. Um, there's a different version of this card where you actually cut the slice out of the middle and then fold it. But this is like a Z fold kind of where she has this extra panel here and she attached it here and attached it back here. So very different. This would make a cool fun folds. Would you guys like to do this for a fun folds class for this, this specific card? Not this specific Lay, like this layout is what I'm talking about. So how it's nice and easy where it attaches onto the front. So very cool card, Kathy. <clears throat> so she had to stick hers in a bigger envelope because it ended up being bigger than an A2 size. All right, this one is from Laura Sullivan. Woohoo! So let's pull this open. Let's see what Laura's got in store for us here. So, um, and she decorated her envelope so it matches very nicely and it opens up Oh, very cool. So we did a card similar like this with the otters. Um, yes, on the fun fold. Oh, Mary Ellen says yes. Anne says yes. Cool. Okay, very nice. Very pretty. Um, so Laura, you're watching. I know that the stitch so sweetly. I recognize this. My goodies are still unavailable. Oh, no, Amy. What is it that you're looking for? Um, 
there are some things don't you don't have to message here but if you want to tell me them in an email i can look up like the dates again <clears throat> so she did tasteful textiles background is what it looks like and stitched so sweetly so um i'm not sure where the flowers come from oh hildy says yes to the fun fold sue says yes to the fun fold perfect very pretty i love how it opens up like that and it's got like a little um square right in there that pops it out so very nice laura i love it so hi lisa nealon i love how the envelope matches the polka dotties all right this one is anna rubadoo St. Patrick's Day card. Very nice. Oh, that doesn't... Uh, I thought that was going to stick, but it doesn't. So it's like a gate fold, so it opens up like that. Very cool. Luck of the Irish is what it says on the inside. Happy St. Patty's Day. And that is from Word Wishes, if I'm not mistaken. Very good. Nice card, Anna. And then we have here Tammy Sokolik. And... Let's look at how she set this up. It's like um, twist and fold, kind of. <laughs> Happy birthday. And some genial gems on here. Hi, Julie Frost. Um, trying to think. Yeah, and it stands up nicely. Very cool. I'm trying to remember where the feather comes from. I can't think of it off the top of my brain. This one is from Tabitha Lawson. And she used the rainbows here, sending you a rainbow of happiness. So that's the bundle that just came back in stock. Um, the label looks from like from love and laughter and some of the celebration paper. And a little heart on the inside. So anybody can get in on this swap if they are so inclined or want to. Um, just know we always know at the last day of the month what the number is and then they're always due to me by the 25th of the month oh this is cindy bowie she did one of these spinner cards you guys party on it says celebrate here with a little balloon 29 again and party on very cool so that's the give it a whirl dies very nice cindy <clears throat> the painted texture was the background which is cool can you think of what the colors were <laughs> they're pretty blues though this one is from Carol Alanis. All right, look at this, you guys. The arm, so this is that driving by set. And then it flips this way. It says happy birthday. And then you've got some panels here that flip back. So very cool. So those gotta go down first and that's next. And that's, I think, tasteful labels dies. So, and she pulled in purple for me. <laughs> so cool. All right, this one is from Miss Elaine Rebeck. It's, I don't, it's like, uh, what, I don't know what, somebody's got to know what the name of this. It's like a panel card. It's, it's very cool for panoramic looks where you could have a layer here, here, and then the kind of matches. And then there's a bridge in the front here. And so very cool. It's the birds and branches stamp set. Hi, Judy Immel. Hi, Karen Cotton. And so that's care, um, Elaine's, um, card sending warm and happy wishes this spring. Very pretty spring card. Loved that designer paper from when it was current. I cannot remember the name of that one though it was from a couple of years ago a bridge card okay well that's easy i thought that was like a bridge okay yo holly's got it too bridge card ask and you shall get the answer this one is from naughty nancy woohoo she even puts it naughty nancy <laughs> oh so this is like you you cut it down the middle and then you just fold back um the little flaps it's perfect and she's got some butterflies on here and some little um, blossoms on the inside. Very pretty. And then she's got some of the um, retired in color butterflies. Very pretty, Nancy. And last but certainly not least is Ann Miller from Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. And she pulled in the Brilliant Butterflies. Um, that's a current stamp set um, in the annual catalog. A happy birthday and then celebrate on the inside. So very pretty. She's got the purple going on and a cutesy little bow right there. All right, you guys. So that's what I got for the customer swap. So you can kind of see what kind of cards you get. If anybody's ever interested in it, I can add you. There's a private Facebook group called Cards by Christine Customer Swap Group. Don't be afraid. There are maybe 70 people that are actually in the group, but what happens is you have to sign up every month. Um, part of a, I have a Google share document, Google, you got a Google share document and you have to sign up every month. And 
and usually it's between 10 and 15. I don't think we've ever had more than 16. Um, and that gets to be a lot, I know, if you just want to enjoy the swap and not make a, a plethora of cards. <laughs> so that's, so it's pretty good. It's like usually 10 to 12, which is nice. So good job, ladies. Yep, Anne's got it right. Good job. So and I like to share them with you. Um, after the swapping is all done, I try to go on and do a live showcasing the cards just to see if anybody's interested in wanting to join and just to get some more ideas. So, all right, you guys. I didn't really think much about what I'm doing here, and maybe it's not a good idea to do this, but I'm thinking I'm going to do it anyways. Um, hi, Jean Benson. So I started doing Facebook Lives. I mentioned this last night in my live. I just started doing Facebook Lives, I think on March 23rd of 2020, right right when the world shut down. I'm like, I, I did a little cry, talked to my mom, talked to somebody at Stampin' Up, and they both said to me, you need to just go live. If you can't do in-person classes, you got to go live. I'm like, oh, yeah. So I put on my big girl panties. I bought a tablet, I bought a phone, and I got <laughs> I got in the business of doing lives. <laughs> so, and so I gave away, when I started doing my online card classes, I thought, well, I'm going to give away my cards to people who comment and, on the Facebook Live. Because if you share it, and you say that you share it, I see it. Um, if you like, I don't always see that. So what I've always said is if you comment, that is the main thing, is if you comment... I, what I, and people ask, well, how do you pick somebody? I'm like, well, you know what? I go to the video, I go to comments, I scroll through and I put my finger on it and whoever's name that is, that's who gets a card. And so I've been giving away these cards in this manner for a long time. And if I know people, I have their addresses. If I don't know people, I ask for their addresses. And I'm a pro now, you're right, Hildy, I love it. <laughs> and so um, I, if I don't get addresses, I don't just, because I, I, I'm all of a sudden somebody's going to come to me and say, hey, you got a card for me. And I'm like, well, <laughs> hopefully I still have it. So generally I try to mail the cards out within a week or two after class. It just depends on what is going on in life, <laughs> right? Um, and so if I've missed an address along the way or if I've gotten to know somebody and your name is in here, I'll see that as I go through this. But I really have not. Um, hi, Teresa. We just got halfway through the party, so we're good. Um, um, oh, thanks, Ann. I appreciate it. <laughs> I try to make you guys laugh and smile. Okay. That's my whole goal is for you to have fun. Um, oh, Judy, I'm glad you got to catch it too. So if you know somebody whose name I call off here, please reach out to them and tell them I need their address. If I know you and have met you since I've gotten this card from you, please let me know. Um, also, and I'll try to make sure I get it out to the mail. What my goal is to get an, a name to send this card to. If I don't, don't ask me what I'm going to do with the cards. I will find a good use for all these cards. I'm not worried about it. But I thought I'm going to give one more last chance to people in case they thought I was a scammer or were like, yeah, she's going to get my address and then I'm going to get all this mail. And like, no, <laughs> I just want to mail a card. <laughs> so um, yeah, Jean loves my lives. Oh, thank you so much, Jean Benson. I appreciate it. So I have no rhyme or reason to the order of this and I'm just going to go through them. I'm not going to say drum roll every time. I'm just going to casually show you guys the, card, guys the card and then flip it over so you can see who the winner is. And this would be great for also the new people who started watching me. Hi, Carol Schaefer. Thanks for sharing. For the new people watching because you might not have seen me um, make these cards and I'll say what the name of the class is and you can always search my videos to find the class to watch. You guys, every video I've done since March 23rd is housed in the Facebook video section of the Cards by Christine page or my YouTube channel, which is under Christine Bertram. So, oh, wow. Hi, Teresa from North Africa. I'm so happy you love the videos. Okay, you guys, without further ado, we're going to flip the camera down and we're going to go right to business. Um, Kathy worked on a new baby card. Time got away from nine hours went by. <laughs> I think a lot of people can relate to that, Kathy. Oh, so I'm so happy that I inspire you and that you learn. You guys, that's the main thing is to keep learning, right? So, all right, we're going down for it, you guys. Okay, these are not in any particular order either, okay? So I'm just going to grab this pile right here, and we're going to go for it. I'm going to see if I, how good I am at remembering the names of the classes. So this was Let's Just Stamp. It was called The Nature's Harvest. It was September of last year. Winner was Sue Thomas. Sue Thomas, you were the winner of that card. If your name is said, please email me, Facebook message me, text me your address, your name and your address so I can send you a card. This was also the same class. You guys, I had, a, I guess I did not do good with this class. Um, Gloria Shermo, so this was the same class. And then this, all three of these cards were Let's Just Stamp. And we had Kathy Jones Irvin. 
So those are the three winners of the, um, that Let's Just Stamp. This was the Nature's Harvest Sweet class that I did in October, I think, or it was September. One of the, These might have both been September, actually. This was a different class. So Mary Schreiber, you are the winner of this card. Ah, oh, it was my favorite card out of that class. It was so pretty. Okay, this was um, Ink Paper Scissors in September. Blackberry Beauty. Mitzi Stanley, woo! You were you. I don't think you had connected with me back in September. I'm setting you aside because I have your address now that um, you've gotten some classes from me. Yay! We have a Mary Ellen Ryan. You just commented um, right before. So Mary Ellen, I know you're watching. I need your address, and this was also from Blackberry Beauty. Okay, we'll get this out in the mail for you. All right, this was my favorite card from this same Blackberry Beauty ink paper scissors, Jane. Rain or Rain, R A A E N, Jane, J A Y N E R A A E N. Okay, you guys, this was a cute little belly band that went up and down, and then it was a gate fold, so it opened like that. And so this was cool. We used the ephemera pack. This was Let's Just Stamp using Love of Leaves, and this winner was Heather Arnold. Um, Heather Arnold, you had won that card. Mary Ellen, you're there. I need your address. Yay. This one's Becky Tipton Schlossnagel. S-C-H-L-O-S-N-A-G-L-E. Hi, Linda Hodge. This was your card, Becky, if I get your address. This one was Janice Stapp McPherson. Janice, if you are watching or if anybody knows her, please let me know about that one. All right. Oh, I love all these classes. You guys, this is like a blast from the past. I love it. This was Celebration Hoorah, rah, September of last year. Winner of this card was Abet Wells Abder Halden Flood. Okay. Hi, Diane Ferry from Ohio. Very, very pretty card with the slicing of the designer paper that used that. <laughs> Don't expect me to remember. Some or something. Okay. <laughs> Cheryl Stancil, S T A N C I L, gatefold card with the pretty penguins for you. If you get me your address, Cheryl Stancil for this one. This was uh, um, Art Gallery. Let's just stamp featuring Art Floral. It was back in August last year. Trudy Oliver, this card is yours if I get your address. This was the same class. There's the lamb technique. You guys ask about that lamb technique. We do use that. This class, um, Susie Fick, S-U-Z-Y Fick. Let's just stamp. Um, and then opened up like that. This was the same class. This was a gift. <laughs> I did a tip Tuesday, you guys, and I was going to give out this already cut designer paper to a Ro Roberta Statchel. If she wanted this, I'll still send this out to her. Roberta Statchel it was a um, tip Tuesday I did on cutting paper. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh, uh, monthly class, uh, August of maybe, Diane Christopherson, this was, um, this, yeah, I can draw them, I'll have to figure out something, Hilda, I haven't figured it out that far yet, but this was monthly class, I think this was August, and so this was that give it a whirl with that scale, this one now was Nicole Legault, L-E-G-A-U-L-T, this was, um, stamp a Nope. This was the sweet class from November, Painted Christmas. All right. So you guys, as I'm saying the names of the class, you can go back and try to remember, or go, go look for the videos. Let's just stamp in November or October. This was um, the Tidings and the Trimmings from the annual catalog. My favorite card from that class was this one. Oh, so pretty. Ida Hilson was the winner of that one. This was also tidings and trimmings. Um, oh, so Doris, you started with me in December. A lot of this stuff is pre-December, yeah. Okay, so a little gatefold. This one was Cindy Bistram, B-I-S-T-R-A-M. Yeah, this, okay, ink, paper, scissors, whimsy and wonder. So pretty that class was, you guys. So this was a Christmas card with um, Vicki Lynch was the winner of this card. This was Fun Folds, holiday edition. We had a nice fall card here that could have been used for Thanksgiving. It was, um, uh, do, 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 what do you call this? Um, a bay window. <laughs> so Nature's Harvest was the stamp set bundle featured. 
and it was more of a fall, like thanks, like you could have made it into a Thanksgiving card. Um, the winner of this card was Barb Patton Roth, P A no Paffin Roth, P A F F E N R O T H. Such beautiful cards, looking for their 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 homes to go to. Sonia Watts. Now Sonia. If I'm not mistaken, you joined me last night for the live, and I want to say you're in England, and I don't mind doing international. It's only a dollar for the stamp to mail this to you. So if you are watching, I need your address. I believe you're England or you're Australia. I knew you weren't in the United States, but you were one of the first gals to come live last night. And so this is a bridge card as well featuring Peaceful Christmas. It was part of the Holiday Fun Folds class. All right, so this one's more recent, you guys. This was last couple weeks ago, Celebration Hoorah Rah. I showed these cards last night. Um, so these were from last night. I published the winners this morning. Yvonne Petty was the winner of this fun fold featuring um, Common Camellia. Come a, come a, come a, Camellia. This was driving by. Oh, thanks, Gloria. I'm glad you texted. Now I'm to go back and look where it was. <laughs> Which card was yours? Um, so this one I announced last night too. Went to. Oh, Julie, you already texted me this morning. I have your address and you messaged me in my Facebook. So I'll set your card off. This was a Tommy Elliott. Um, Doris says, send them all to me. Can you guys imagine getting a box full of all these beautiful cards? Oh my goodness. So Gloria, there yours was. So you just messaged me. I'll put yours off to the side because then I have it handy. All right. So that's one stack, you guys. The next stack isn't quite as tall, but it is still pretty tall. This was hand penned from last month, you guys. Um, the uh, ink, paper, scissors. And this card went to Barbara Schupenis, I think. S-H-U-P-E-N-I-S. -E Barbara Schupenis. You got that beautiful card. This was hand pen last month as well, ink, paper, scissors. It was ba Barbara Zacher, Z-A-C-H-E-R. And I didn't do so good on this one either. <laughs> this one was a Louise Power. So Louise, this was your pretty purple card with a triple bow. I love fixing bows, you guys. So making them all frou-free and fluffy. So that was hand pen last month. You guys can still watch all these videos for all these cards. Hi, Deanna Stell. This was the catalog launch party, Mary Newhouse. You were the winner of this card. The Otters card um, is, hey, this was like uh, Laura Sullivan's card where it pops up like that on the inside. This card, Teresa Cooper, you were the winner of that card. So I did a winter bingo um, ad hoc live um, the last Thursday of January. Shirley Aston, you were the winner of this belly banded gatefold card. Ink, paper, scissors in December. Uh, featuring expressions in ink or artistically inked. This best wishes cards went to Patsy Husson, H-U-S-S-O-N. All right, so looking for her to get that card out. Happy birthday goes to Diane Oliver Sanders. If you know her, please reach out to her. This was Mary Snowflake's sweet class in December. Uh, season's greetings went to Veronica Sanchez Meyer. This was the same class. Oh, my purplicious card, you guys. Oh, I get to look at it again. So good. Cindy Sitz, S-I-T-Z, was the winner of that one. This was Let's Just Stamp featuring Snowflake Wishes in December. Yep, I think so. Little book, oh, lost it. Little book card here, you guys. We love our book cards. It's got like a little binding. Patricia Piscopio. Oh! you now Patricia I love it okay I have your address that was a nice surprise you started you just we connected more in January but I never got your address for that back in December so yay and you just got a class exciting stuff Marilyn Scorker this was ink paper scissors from November you guys featuring the gingerbread I do have some of these left too in case anybody wants to do this class it was four gingerbread cards um, Marilyn Scorker, you were the winner. This was Stamp a Stack early. Do, do, do. It was in November, in person, early November, and then online was no. Oh, you guys, this was the weekend before Thanksgiving. Uh, featured painted Christmas, and so everybody made sixteen cards. Vicky Dawn Sloan, um, S L O A N. This was the same class. Stamp a Stack. Um, so Linda Hodge is asking if I have any classes left, where do I post it? Um, generally I will show you guys what I do. One second.
Linda Hodge, that is the most fabulous question. So, you guys, I have a printable PDF schedule. It's available on my website at cardsbycrispy.com. Go to the newsletter section. Go to the calendar, um, or it says Cards by Christine, like uh, March through May schedule. When you get to the very last page of the schedule, I have on there past classes still available. Timeless Tropical, which is actually this card, one of the cards here that will announce that. Gingerbread, that's this guy right here. So that was Gingerbread. I have some of the September monthly left. Oh, I have a spelling mistake. You guys, I can't always do everything exactly perfect. You know me, I'm human, right? <laughs> I'm missing the M. <laughs> I'll fix that later. Um, so yeah, and I've got like, this is supposed to be <laughs> down here and this is supposed to be, so I got some things that, I mean, the, at the end of the day, the classes are still available. I just didn't proofread this very well, but I have some September monthly classes available. The Mary Snowflakes class. I have the January monthly class available. Sweet talk. I have one left of the heart and the home and, um, so yes, this is Linda Hodge. This is where you would go past classes still. I need to get this rearranged and look a little bit better, but I try to say that I have kits available or like one kit available. And so this is where you would go. And if anybody still wants any of these past kits, you could still get them for free with a minimum order if that's how it was, or you could pay for them. Um, or sometimes like ink, paper, scissors is fee-based. So you could just pay the fee for it. But it's always at the end of my printable PDF. Um, that's where you'll find it because that's where I kind of keep track of it. Um, I'll get that updated. Oops. So, but uh, ultimately the classes, the names are all right. They're just not in the right order. <laughs> so, um, and you guys, again, that's on my website right here, cardsbycrispy.com. And I will actually show you really quickly here. Sometimes it's good to see this in person um, if you're not so technologically inclined. If you go to Cards by Chris B, oops, wrong thing. Hang on, let's go Cards. That's not the right thing. That's Stampin' Out. Hang on, jeans and <laughs> I was trying to work around jean there. Um, you guys, on my website, you go to blog and news, newsletters and files. And it's the first one here. It says Cards by Christine, March through May schedule. If you click on that, it is a printable PDF. And that's where you guys can find what I just showed you here. So I know people take this, print it, and they highlight the classes they want to do. All right. You're very welcome, Linda. Um, I'll gladly take all the unclaimed cards for any of the Cindy's. LOL. I love it. Carol Schaefer. Carol, is that your sister that also does demos on here? I, I enjoy you both. Oh, so Carol, I think I just said your name. I'm pretty sure I did. I think I had a Carol Schaefer. Unless... Oh my gosh, I just said a lot of names and I have a really good memory, but not always that good. But Carol, if that was you, I'll need your address. If it wasn't, it was a different Schaefer. But the gal who helps me is Kelly and her last name is Lamb. She's my first cousin. My dad and her mom are brother and sister and her mom is my godmother. And Kelly has been helping me since 2015. And so she helps me on the Facebook side with helping schedule some, um, some of the posts. She does my paper pumpkin lives for me. Uh, she helps me with my cover photos. I basically hired her about four years ago to be my right arm. <laughs> and sometimes she's my left arm too. Uh, so yes. All right. So she is my cousin. Um, that's the part I have to learn. Oh, Judy, I didn't catch what that was, the part that you have to learn. <laughs> all right. Back to stamp a stack though. All three of these cards, you guys, were from stamp a stack in November using Painted Christmas. And um, it was Susan... Castell Gastello. Okay, so Susan Cogdill Gastello. Um, it's C O G D I L L G A S T E L O. Um, so Cheryl, I'm not sure. I'll have to look back here. I know I had just said a Schaefer, but I don't know. It was, and it was the same spelling that you just had S H A E F E R. So I'll have to go back and look. Um, Lizzie! Okay, Lizzie, you you just messaged. I saw your name pop up not too long ago. So I think if you're watching Lizzie or, or more current to me now, please give me your address um, so I can mail that out. And um, just because I've got, I'm gonna take 30 sec seconds, you guys, and just see since Carol's here, 
and I don't want her to have to go back and look through the whole thing again. That seems like a lot of time. Now I don't know if I'm gonna even find it. And there's Sonia, there's Yvonne and Tommy. Now I don't even know which card. Who remembers what card has, <laughs> there's S-H-E, yeah, oh my goodness. Okay, we won't look anymore. I thought maybe I'd find it in a hot, fast second, but I didn't. Okay, so we got a pile here. We'll look through this one. See who we've got watching that could potentially take a card. The first, Linda Hall, this was the first one to message you. Oh, Lizzie. She was the first one to message you, Lizzie. Okay. All right. So, yep, I've got Lizzie's card here off to the side. Um, so, let's see here. This is from the Let's Just Stamp as well with the tidings and the trimmings. Um, Debbie Stand Effer, S T A N D E F E R. Um, oh, Judy, that's the part you have to learn how to find the PDF. Well, you're coming over tonight for the retreat. We can pull it up on your phone. Alice Somsell. Okay, Alice, I've been seeing your name popping up on these messages too. So Alice, I need your address. Um, so Carol, then it might not have been you. I'm thinking something else. I don't recognize the Spanos in the middle of your name, S-P-A-N-O-S. So you it wasn't you then, I'm guessing. Okay, sorry to um, maybe got your bubble um, inflated a little bit, <laughs> but maybe we'll see it yet. Okay, so Alice Somsell, if you're, I need your address for this one. This was, oh my goodness, I love this card so much. It was so pretty. Um, this was tidings and trimmings as well. Kathy Fuest, first, F-U-E-R-S-T. So Kathy, um, that one's yours. This was from the monthly class in January. We had a Valentine's Day card. It went to Cindy Kaiser. Middle is Czyzak, C-Z-Y-Z-A-K, Kaiser. Um, okay, this was from stamp -a stack last month featuring Artfully Layered. We had a cute little gatefold card here. And that one went to, oh, Lizzie, my goodness, girl. So you were a hot. Okay, so yes, you got this card back in November and you were drawn again in February. So well, I think then both of those will go out to you. Carol, there it is, Carol. Okay, so Carol, I feel like I knew your name was in here somewhere. Sorry to not show you the card, but this was the card, Carol. I think that's you, right? C-A-R-O-L-S-H-A-E-F-E-R. -E -E Yay, I'm so excited. You get a card, okay. For some reason, I think when I saw your name pop up, I'm like, I think that might she might have a card in here. Okay, sorry, you guys, I get excited. This was Let's Just Stamp featuring Flowing Flowers in... February, maybe. I think so. Hi, Patricia Settle. Susan Blasho Carnero. <laughs> I'm, guys, I'm not going with names. B L A S J O Carnero, C A R N E R O. Susan, this was your card, January monthly class. And then there was one more from um, January monthly class. It was the nuts and bolts. Um, thank you, Carol. I appreciate it. Um, Donna Zukaitis, Z U K A I T I S. All right. This was from Sweet Talk, which I do have a set, one kit left, or like set of kits for this class, Sweet Talk from January. Um, Kathy Balzarin. <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. I didn't know if it was Zarin or, it's, oh, so it's B-A-L-Z-A-R-I-N is what I think that is. Balzarin, maybe? Okay. This was Ink, Paper, Scissors from January featuring the bloom, um, Perfect Plants, Bloom Where You're Planted. Connie Buvia, B-U-V-I-A, Corinne, 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 sorry, you guys, that's not Connie, it's Corinne, my sloppy handwriting, C-O-R-I-N-N-E, Corinne, all right, you guys, this was my favorite from the heart and home, I have one class left for this one, these were two of the cards, there were two other ones, a pretty, pretty purple one that went out to somebody, I think Melody Miller, if I'm not mistaken, you got that one, or somebody else got that pretty purple one, it's like, a, it opens like this, should we message here or no, do not message here. Email me at chrismbertram at msn.com or text me or Facebook message me. I will not find your address up in these. These comments go so fast. I can't, and I'm not going to go hunt for it. You guys, searching for your posts in videos is one of the most time consuming thing to ever have to do. So if you ever want a response from me while I'm not live, <laughs> Your best bet is to text me, email me, call me, Facebook message me. Um, if you tag my name, then sometimes I catch it in my news notifications. 
but I'll, I'll honestly tell you, I don't catch a lot of the posts. And as much as I, I, I could spend hours looking back at comments to find the comment that I'm looking for is really dumb. Um, so um, I want the heart and home class. Susan Pacheco, text me, email me, call me, um, tell me you want the heart and home and I will make sure you get that and we can save it and mail it out with a next package actually. Um, and we'll figure it out. Okay. But let me know that outside of this medium of communication. <laughs> All right. Patty Schuler. S-C-H-U-L-E-R. That was my favorite one. This was the same heart and home class. Um, Linda Freund from Florida. Linda, I never got your address. You've been commenting. I see it, but I don't know what you, if you ever sent me your address. And you guys, I'll be honest, I, I do not always miss something. A Andrea Graham, how do you win a card? Um, I, so what happens for the cards when I do my card classes? About a week later, I will go back and I will go into the video, go to the comments, run the list, and put my finger on a name <laughs> blindly. And I will do that for as many cards as I have. So how to win a card is by commenting um, on the video of the class that we're watch or that you're watching. So um, And it's got to be within a week after... Um, because I generally give out the week, the classes or the cards at the next class the following week. Um, oh, thanks, Susan. Okay, you guys, I have one more little pile here and then we're done. So this was from the Ink Paper Scissors in July featuring, featuring Timeless Tropics. This is my Hawaii card. Oh my gosh. So it's um, the big island. I lost a little stone on here somewhere. You know what? We're going to, um, don't tell anybody, but for right now, we're going to do this. So I designed this card and I put the gems on and apparently I put all the gems in the wrong spot. Tyler had to fix them. We had just gotten back from Hawaii and I had these gems all like not like this. And he told me they need to be the Big Island, Maui, Oahu, and Kauai. And so we had to, I had to rearrange the stones to be, make it look like Hawaii. <laughs> so aloha everybody. Audrey Bosley, you were the winner of that card. Same class, uh, the using Timeless Tropics was Sharon Castor, C A K A S T O R, and so those were yours. Now this was some paper I gave away. I don't remember why or when or what or where or who or how, but it was Irma Pumphrey. Um, you were the winner of this pack of designer paper from back in the fall of last year, if I'm not mistaken. So Irma, if you're still watching, this was from the monthly class. No, this was Bing. I think I did this for the monthly class in June or July. Victoria White. Um, sorry, you guys. I know I have chicken scratch. Victoria White was the winner of this cutesy little card. Um, and there's a gem from the ribbon or <laughs> glitter. Okay. This was the Beauty of the Earth sweet class I did in June of last year. Wanda Manasseri. M-A-N-A-S-S-E-R-I, Manasseri. So this was Beauty of the Earth. You guys, I'm doing Ink, Paper, Scissors featuring Beauty of the Earth next month. This was another class. Um, Tyler helped me design this. He actually was upstairs with me when I was finishing up the class, and he put all of his thought into this one to make it the way it was. <laughs> and so he was really proud. He helped me design a class card. And it went to Philly Cinto, uh, S-C-I-N-T-O. Philly, you were the winner of that one. I know, you guys, this is like a blast from the past. I love it. This was um, from June monthly class, I think, using the color and contour. And it went to Vicki Tillett. Vicki, I don't know if I ever got your address. You comment in my lives. I just need your address. Marilyn Dillon won this one from the monthly class in June or July last year. It was the welcoming window. I think this was June. I loved the drapes that is from that um, pale papaya ribbon. It's like it's so pretty. I just want to pet it, you guys. All right, Marilyn Dillon. Hi, Becky Scott. Tyler is a very nice guy. He is. All right, this is the catalog launch party, June of last year. Butterfly Brilliance and some of the... Um, celebration paper it was one of these cards where it opens like that and the butterfly actually its little wing holds down the flap so that it holds the card shut jamie salas s-a-l-e-s or sales i guess you could say maybe salas sales jamie you're the winner there kathy oh my gosh kathy you had two cards look at you go girl 
F-U-E-R-S-T. This was from Ink Paper Scissors featuring the strawberry bundle that's still current in the annual catalog. And a thank you card. So Ink Paper Scissors to Kathy. This was, you guys, the monthly class in May of last year. And so this stamp set is retired. It was called Woodland Wonder. This actually, you untie this, and I'm gonna do it, then I'm gonna have to figure out. So you untie this, and then that tree, if you guys remember the stamp set, it goes down like that. So cool. So that was monthly May of last year. Let's see how I can do it tying this. Um, you know what? This is where I've learned from Jennifer Merle Hampshire. If you have a reverse tweezers, it holds it for you while you tie. And let's see if I can get you guys watching me. The pressure is real here. So because I have the scissors, the tweezers there, it helped to hold it. And then I could make my cutesy little bosey again. Okay, Jane. Oh, we saw this name already. Jane Rain, R A A E N or Rain. Okay, I even had my schedule ready to put in there with that one. This was from May. Um, I know. So Kathy Jackson just said so many unclaimed cards, you guys. But in reality, when you think about, I've had 658 prizes. That includes door prizes and cards. The majority are cards. I would have to say, that I've probably given out maybe since two years ago about three to four hundred cards. This is not really a lot. This is might be if a hundred cards, I don't know. So three quarters of the cards really got claimed and sent out. So it's not like there's a lot, right? <laughs> so yeah, Jennifer is fun too. I love watching her. This was the handsomely suited set. Um, it was Ma to do May of last year. Karen Halterman was the winner of this one. This one was Sandra Tangway, Tangway, and so that opened like this. Oh, there's a little gooey thing right there. You guys, if you get little gooey things, you can take your adhesive eraser and get those little gooey things off, and then you have no gooey things. This was the In Color Retirement class. You guys, this is coming up next month already, not with the kangaroos, but the colors are retiring, so it's always the same layout, but with multiple colors. So we had five of them. And these were Christine Brady O'Hearn and Victoria White. Okay. So those two cards are waiting for homes. Um, hydrangea from last year, the Hydrangea Sweet class. This card goes to a Sherry Miller, M-I-L-L-E-R. So Sherry Miller gets that one. This was the monthly class for April. Diane Ennerson, um, she got this, it was the Shark Frenzy was the name of the stamp set. And this was the Flamingo one, same class. Um, this one, Elizabeth Dietzsche, D-I, Dietzsche, D-I-E-T-S-H-E, Merkel, M-E-R-K-L-E. Hi, Susie Stocks. And so this one was ready to go out in the mail too, waiting for a winner. Um, winner, winner, chicken dinner for this one was Jocelyn Zimmerman. You guys, I had it all ready, got my envelopes there, but this was Art Floral, which was the sweet class last March, maybe. Eight, yeah, March, I think, Art Floral. And then this was a monthly class, I think, in March. Welcome Spring with that little lamb. And Sue Mossener, M-A-S-O-N-E-R. Paper Pumpkin cards here from that class. Mary Daner, D-E-N-Y-E-R. So that was the paper pumpkin class. You guys, so you think about the New Horizons is this March. These were two of the cards for last March, and they were very outdoorsy, nature-y themed as well. So they kind of kept with that same tradition. So Mary Daner, and then this one is Colleen Brown. So Colleen Brown was the winner of this one. The envelopes, you had those lines, the liners on the inside. This was for, um, I don't remember what this was, but Kathy House, I had a prize for you, um, an ink pad, Barry, Barry, what was it, Barry, Barry Burst, Kathy House. <clears throat> this was, I did a kit class last year, you guys, sometime in February or March. This was Cindy, oh, this, I saw Cindy won again. Bistram, B-I-S-T-R-A-M, but like this was a whole year later. Uh, this was, hi Vicki Fritz. Sharon Mulder Hatter. I had something from that same kit class, I think, maybe. Um, oh, look at that. I even wrote the note to her already. Um, creative challenge for December, but I never got her address. So, so 
So this was a creative challenge winner for um, December of last year, you guys. Like, no, two years ago. So yeah, I, that's been sitting there probably the longest. All right, so this was the class January, the sweet, um, it was the Valentine's Day set from last year. Bev, Bev Dahl was the winner of this one, B-E-V, and then it was another book card, you guys. Happy Valentine's Day, D-A-H-L. This was the catalog, celebration, celebration maybe? Janice Mink, M-I-E-N-K, was that card. This was the same class, celebration, hoorah, rah. This was in February. Oh, I love the butterfly on here. It was so pretty. You guys, that was the, oh, that's where that paper comes. Celebration, I went with that butterfly. It was the, the bundle. I know, right, Kathy? It's so fun. This is like a blast from the past going through them. Carol Carbino, C-A-R-B-I-N-O. This was another paper pumpkin card from a class last year. Debbie Zukowski, Z-U-C-H-O-W-S-K-I. Um, thanks, Carol. Uh, this was monthly class February of last year, I think. February or March. It was that rodeo cowboy set from the mini of last year. Um, Teresa CC. That's what it came up. It had no last name, but it had Teresa CC. So I don't know, you guys. Sometimes I'm not sure if I'll get anybody here for these. This was the Simply Succulents. Cindy Kent. K. I got a little dust on there. K E N T. So much inspiration, right? So a lot of these sets are current yet. Yeah, not all, but some. Like this one, um, Linda says, you can send me a few of those cards, right? Oh, I love this card, you guys. So fun. This was the celebration paper last year, but this this bundle carried over. They're the stitched flowers, like in pierced bloom or something. Oh, my goodness. So this card is one of these where it, like, sits up like this. So here's it from, like, a side view. So that's, that's that. And oh, I just... I love this one. It's like sunshine and happiness right here. Oh, boom. Bumblebee, Granny Apple Green, Black and White. Oh, I love it. June Rilling won this card. Um, R-I-L-L-I-N-G. Um, greetings from S-A. Hi, hi, Shirley. Sh Shireen. <laughs> Last but not least, you guys. This was from that same class here. So these, I think, were maybe the same. Um, the Forever and Always set. Patty Ross, R-O-S-S. Um, Kathy Jackson, you're so funny. I have your address. Kathy, I know where you, I don't know. I've never been to your house, but I know you're in Iowa, Wisconsin, and I can look up your address. I love it. So I hope by doing this video that, um, need it today. <laughs> it's snowing. Yes. So Vicki Fritz, I think you had a card. Um, I, I, I'm not going to say anything anymore. I don't remember. There were so many names that I just went through and I can't remember all of them anymore. But if you are thinking you may have won a card for me in the past and you're not so certain what like look back through this um i know like some like carmen melendez had won the game night chicken class card i mailed it out but three months later she reminded me that she didn't get it i'm like well i sent it out but she didn't get it so i even honored that the mail didn't deliver her card and i found an extra one and i mailed that to her so like I do my best to get the cards out in the mail within a week or two after. Um, just remember, I'm human and life happens too. And so I do my best. Um, so if you give me your address, I try to get out. Kathy Lester, <clears throat> you had won that ladybug card. And I remember I couldn't finish it during the live because I didn't have the leaves. And so I finished that card on Monday night and it went in the mail on Tuesday. That's why you're getting it today and not three weeks ago. <laughs> life happens. Um, so I guess if you know anybody that um, had their name called or if you had your name called, I just ask that you send me your address and I'll mail you your card as soon as I have a moment to. Um, I have my retreat this weekend, so I'm going to be busy with eight lovely ladies. Some are showing up tonight um, starting at six and they're going to get their spot set up. You can see I've got all the tables like kind of cleaned off. I, I washed them with the sparkle, got all the goo. You guys, you wouldn't be, you'd be so amazed at how much glue gets on these tables. I took my fingers and I was scraping off all these little glue things that were stuck. And so I tried to get everything glued, the, the glue off. Um, everyone who watches should send you their address. Right. So Mitzi, I'm a very organized person. And so I keep a database of all of my customers and that includes their address and their birth dates, their phone numbers, and their emails. 
And I, if I have your birth date, I even send birthday cards. If you are a customer or on my team or somebody who gets classes for me. Um, and so I try to go out and I reach out to people as often as I can and say, Hey, what's your birthday? Um, so if you don't know if I have your birthday or not, and you are a customer team member, or you take classes from me, just know I send birthday cards on a monthly basis out. If it's the month of your birthday, you'll get a card from me. So, and so it's awesome. I'll, I'll be doing my lives and somebody will say, well, thanks for the birthday card. So I know they got it. Uh, so I keep track of all of that stuff. So yeah, if you watch my lives and you potentially are going to take classes or think you might win a card, <laughs> give me your address. Cause at least I have it then to mail out the stuff. So. Um, so yeah, so Doris, I've been thinking about what I want to do with the cards that, um, oh, this one's missing a gem. Huh? It's funny. I'll put that on there. Um, I've been thinking about what I want to do for those cards that like what I have left over and I'll come up with something and I might just throw in them sporadically as I'm drawing names for current classes. I might pick an extra name and start whittling my way through the pile so that at the end they're gone. So, that's the goal. Get them in the hands of you guys so you can send them off to the next person. I always hope that my cards get more life out of them than just one use. And that's why I never sign the inside of them. I always put that little note of paper in there that says, I didn't sign this card before I sent it off to you, but no, it holds my warmest thoughts warm and true. And if somebody needs to have their day brightened, send it off to them too, or something like that. So I put that in there and it's actually right here. So let's see. There is this little slip. And some of you have gotten this for me, but it says, I didn't sign this card before I sent it off to you, but it holds my warmest thoughts, invisible but true. And if you find a time you need to brighten someone's day, then take this card, sign it, and send it on its way. And so I do that, and then I write on a post-it note in the card so that you guys know that I'm sending my love, and then you can pass that love on to somebody else. So, all right, you guys. <clears throat> I think that's it. <laughs> we did it. I have been meaning to do that for a couple weeks. I was going to try to do it before I went back to work, but hey, a few days late is not so bad. And then maybe I'll catch some of you guys on a Friday afternoon or what we watch the replay. Um, so if you need anything, don't ever hesitate to reach out, you guys. Um, just know if you do try calling me, um, leave a voicemail. And also if you can follow up with a text or an email, that would be great. Uh, I don't always check my messages every day. I think I had six of them waiting for me when I checked them last night, only because Tyler said, I called you and left you a message. You didn't hear it. I'm like, nope. <laughs> so, uh, oh, because of the card you won, you got hooked on your classes. I love it, Hildy. I love it. So, and I, I mean, it's part of the love sending, right? And the camaraderie and the bonding. It's the whole thing, you guys. And sending a card just helps a little bit to brighten somebody's day. So, um, yeah. Love that concept. I'm doing the same thing since. I oh, Penny, I love that you do that as well. So, Yay. Okay. Oh, there's Noreen. Noreen, I see that you're watching now. Noreen, you're going to have to go back and watch from the beginning because we are at the tail end of our live together today, you guys. So um, I'm just trying to read some comments as they come through here. Uh, what a wonderful treat this afternoon. I love it, Cindy. Awesome. So um, yeah, if just a reminder, you guys, um, classes coming up now are Let's Just Stamp on Monday. I made 28 sets of them, you guys, and I have all 28 are gone. So um, if anybody is really, really, really wanting that class, Diane has not prepped for that class yet. And so I would tail on to her class and have her make up the card kits and we could still do it. So if somebody is still wanting, let's just stamp featuring timeless tulips for Monday, um, just reach out to me. It would be a kit that, um, Diane would have, and it wouldn't go in the mail until probably the end of next week or early the following week. So then we have a monthly class on Friday night, you guys. I'm not live on the 17th because of St. Patty's Day. It'll be the 18th at 5.30 Central. And then the following week is New Horizons. And so those classes right now are what I'm working on. And so if anybody wants to get signed up, it's always best to get your name on the list. If for some reason something comes up, it's okay. We can take you off the list. It's just better to get you on and then I can account for it. And then I always find somebody else to take the kits in case you have to cancel for whatever reason. So, oh, Diana said it was fun. Yay. I am a dedicated person. You go. Thank you, Sandy. I appreciate hearing that. You guys, it's been good. I don't know how I would have worked this week on top of preparing for this retreat <laughs> and still doing everything that I was doing with all the card glasses. I don't. So it was a blessing in disguise that my boss said to me on Monday, do you want to be done? And uh, are you ready for today to be your last day if you want it to be? And I'm like, ah, yes, we can make that happen. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, awesome. Oh, Yvonne. Cooper got a card from Penny using that concept. I love it. So, all right. 
You guys, I think I'm going to sign out. I got to get ready for the rest of the afternoon with my make and takes for my retreat gals this weekend. And my mom is, she brought all of the food over already. So she is ahead. So everything got made yesterday. And so everything can, all the, the flavors and the um, seasonings and spices can mingle is what we call it, mingle and meld together so that by that you eat something the second day it's made, it tastes even more phenomenal. So we're having um, pork pulled pork sandwiches tomorrow with peanut butter bars and my mom made chicken noodle soup. She made um, bah, ugh, the cheesy, chi oh, fajita, like chicken fajita soup with like the tortilla strips on the top and we got fudgy bars and oh my goodness, so much stuff. So I'm so excited. And we got Papa Murphy's pizza for tomorrow night and Jimmy John sandwiches for Sunday night. So, oh, we got a lot coming up this weekend. And so just, um, but this weekend is all about my girls doing what they want to do. So I just get to float around and like work on my stuff as well. So this will be exciting for me too. So, all right, you guys, lots of sunshine, love and hugs to you. Um, you guys have a great, healthy, happy, sassy, fun filled weekend doing whatever you need to do and get done. <laughs> Enjoy some of it though as well. Oh, I will, Hildy. I think I might try to do a, a quick live at some point um, during the retreat just to show you guys what I've got going on. So I'm going to try to. That's my fan. So, um, so that you guys can still feel like you're part of the group. So, all right, you guys. I love you so much. I love you a long time. <laughs> Jeannie Parker. All right. Bye, guys.